In this segment, I will demonstrate how to use the one molar solution of hydrochloric acid to prepare four diluted solutions of acid that have specific molarities. This particular experiment employs the principle of serial dilution, where I dilute each of the four solutions by a dilution factor each time and use a standard volume each time. The one molar hydrochloric acid is referred to as the stock solution. The dilution factor in this experiment is 10 and the amount of standard volume of the acid that is pipetted into a measuring cylinder is always 1 milliliter. Starting from the left to right, the concentrations of the hydrochloric acids I will be making decreases by a factor of 10 each time. So this means that I start with a stock solution of hydrochloric acid with a molarity of 1. The concentration of the second acid will be 1 tenth of 1 which is 0 0.1 molar. The concentration of the third acid will be 1 tenth of 0 0.1 which is 0 0.01 molar. The concentration of the fourth acid will be 1 tenth of 0 0.01 molar which is 0 0.001 molar and so forth. The respective pHs starting from left to right will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. I hope this procedure becomes clearer as you watch the rest of the video. So let's get started. I start with my one molar stock solution of hydrochloric acid. Remember that in this experiment the standard volume is always one milliliter. I pipette in one milliliter of the one molar hydrochloric acid into the measuring cylinder. I then squirt in 9 milliliters of water into the cylinder as well. The total volume of acid and water is now 10 milliliters. The dilution factor is 10, therefore my new acid concentration is 1 tenth of the 1 molar, making it 0 0.1 molar. I then pour in the 0 0.1 molar acid from the cylinder into the dry clean flask. and I pour it back again to ensure it is well mixed. I now have hydrochloric acid that is 0.1 molar and I'm ready to proceed with my next dilution. I am now ready to make my next acid. However, you must first wash and dry the measuring cylinder and glass funnel. Use distilled water to clean these and discard the water into a waste container. Dry the glass vessels with tissue. I will now pipette in the standard volume of 1 milliliter of the 0 0.1 molar acid into the cylinder. Then I squirt in 9 milliliters of water into the measuring cylinder. The total volume of the acid and water is 10 milliliters. The dilution factor is 10. Therefore, the concentration of my newly prepared acid is 1 tenth of 0 0.1 molar, making it 0 0.01 molar. I can now transfer this 0.01 molar acid into a clean dry glass flask. However, I need to ensure it is well mixed, hence I transfer it from one glass vessel into another a few times. I 
I now have hydrochloric acid that is 0.01 molar and I am ready to proceed with my next dilution. Once again, wash and dry this cylinder and glass funnel. Ensure you have a clean dry glass flask as well. Pipette in the standard 1 ml of the 0.01 molar acid into the measuring cylinder. Squirt in 9 milliliters of distilled water into the cylinder. The total volume of the acid and water is now 10 milliliters. The dilution factor is 10. Therefore, the concentration of the newly prepared acid is 1 tenth of 0 0.01 molar, making it 0 0.001 molar. Ensure the newly prepared acid is well mixed. I now have hydrochloric acid that is 0.001 molar and I am ready to proceed with my next dilution. I am now ready to prepare my next concentration of acid. Once again wash and dry the cylinder and glass funnel. Pipette in the standard 1 ml of the 0.001 molar acid into the clean dry cylinder. Squirt in 9 ml of distilled water into the cylinder. The total volume of the acid and water is 10 ml. The dilution factor is 10. Therefore, the concentration of my newly prepared acid is 1 tenth of 0 0.001 molar, making it 0 0.0001 molar. Ensure that the acid is well mixed by transferring from one vessel to another a few times. I now have hydrochloric acid that is 0 0.0001 molar. So here are the five solutions of hydrochloric acid with their respective pHs. I can now use these for other experiments where specific pHs are needed. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment.